In this video, I'm going to show you how to use UID changeable cards using ACR122U and also you're going to see how to write the entire block zero. So as you all know, ACR122U is a very popular reader writer and this is from a company called the ACS and which supports uh, type A and type B tags. This particular UID Readable tag is of type A. When you buy this uh, reader writer, it comes with a CD and it also has got some kind of SDK. And the CD also has got a software called ACR122U tool. This is the software you know I'm going to use here. And we're going to follow the developers community from uh, Proxmark. And in that block site, there's a clear instruction on how to do these things. And I also got an example of uh, block zero data, which we have seen in the previous videos. Just to recap here, the first four bytes, this is the UID. And the fifth byte is, the, is a kind of a checksum called BCC. And these three bytes, that 080400, uh, it refers to the type of the tag, whether it's a, a classic 1K or 4K and so on and so forth. And the remaining bytes corresponds to the manufacturer's data. So we are going to use a software called ACR122U tool that comes with the part of the CD or SDK when you install it. And I'm going to show you two methods and you have to follow uh, these steps in the in, this, in the order what I mentioned here. So I have tried you know various other methods but it didn't work for me. So the very first step is you have to connect the ACR122 U to your PC. I'm going to do that now. And after that you're going to run the software and this software is part of SDK. I'm going to run the software and you have to click on the connect. Here is going to show you the name of the reader writer which is uh, ACR1220 connect it okay. So now we have established the connection between the software and the reader writer. Now next we're going to place the card our UID changeable card and you should listen to the beep sound. And after that, you're going to disable a feature called auto pooling, which is uh, in this software. If you go to the reader commands and uh, pick operating system and set pick and say disable and say set. So look at that, you ju just get some error messages and see that's what the software is. And this is the next step. So once you did this, next you have to go to the direct command window, which is again, go to send commands and say direct commands. Now it is in this window, we will start sending the, the commands. And all those commands are described in this fantastic um, instruction given by probably a person called Mobius and it is in uh, Procmark developers community which I'm going to open. So this is the website and this is the page I'm going to uh, use. In order to get here you just have to go to Google and search for changeable UID MIFAR 1K. And there are a couple of good discussions you know happening in this site. We'll be interested in the section if you look for Mobius and this is exactly what you're going to follow and this method works for us. So we just have to follow this step and the arrow left arrow indicates this is the command we're going to type and the right arrow indicates this is what the response we get and you just have to follow this verbatim or as it is until you reach the last command. And these commands are for reading and if you follow the one underneath 
this is for editing okay so we're going to follow this these commands exactly the way it is in the same order and we're going to prove that you know this thing works for us so I've just you know pasted all these uh, commands here I'm going to call this as some uh, Mobius instructions and this is the command you send this is what the output is I have got all these commands you know in my uh, text editor I'm going to copy paste directly into this uh, ACR software and let's uh, see that it works so the first command you know will not worry about what the command does and I'm going to point you to a place where you can see what these commands are so copy paste the first command says send so this command if you if you look at this uh, documentation the output should be d509900 however uh, we don't get that last zeros but this is a positive 90 means a positive uh, response so don't worry about that zeros so the first command is successful the second command so control sorry control V doesn't work in the software so I have to paste it and second command I'm just looking at you know the other screen where I know that this is the a positive response and the third command I'm going to delete and paste it works and the fourth command so we have seen this command in a different way when we discussed this in uh, using MFRC 522 we saw the command 40 sent to the stack this is exactly what it is 40 and this is very positive okay the the response should be 0 a yeah, we got it and the next command delete send this is again a positive response and the next command we have seen this command the 43 command was used in uh, MFRC if I did also send this is again a positive and this is uh, so one more command this is a positive as well and this is the last command this is this command is what is going to write it to the block zero and if this command works then we have made it we just wrote to block zero and here I've taken you know in my previous video I showed you how to get extract the 16 bytes from any existing tag so I know a0 means uh, write and 00, zero means uh, block zero and all the remaining 16 bytes where the first six bytes, four bytes corresponds to the UID, the fifth byte the BCC. See, keep in mind here we don't have to compute BCC because this is this is been extracted from a tag which already has a valid BCC. So all the remaining command here we know zero eight zero four zero zero means something to do with the card type, and this is some kind of manufactured data. I'm going to send it, and 100% I'm sure this is a success. So what we have to prove now is you know whether our tag has got uh, the ID starting from uh, 0, 06 or 6e and this should be our tag. Let's try that. Okay, so that's all. If you want to check it, you know, go try again and I don't think it works now. Probably the best thing is you disconnect it. I'm going to enable or the best thing you know close this I would rather close this and start all or you can also disconnect reconnect this tag run this software so I'm going to place the tag so here I'm not trying to do this again just trying to get this uh, UID so which I can get it from the get data so you can see that look at that we have got so exactly that what we the UID is 6CE6 so this proves that we are able to write to block 0 using ACR uh, 122U using this uh, first method so finally thanks uh, Mobius this works for us so we'll go back to this uh, block site again and if you just scroll a little bit down so one more person 
called you know dryad sito you know he has explained what these uh, commands are as you can see uh, the very first command is something to do with the right to the register changing them something like a tra transmission mode and the next command is the halt command and this we have seen I think in MFRC 522 this is using uh, in communication through of PN532 and keep in mind ACR122U uses internally the PN532 uh, reader writer after that the next command uh, it's again writing to register uh, we just have to see now I'm not very sure what this thing does but there's something happening here writing to register again sending this command 40 writing to register and sending 43 and writing to register and finally this is writing to the entire sector so there are some uh, nice feedback here you know if you're interested to know more you know it's good that you go through this uh, at least once so let's see the the second method of doing this uh, uh, doing this thing so this is you know again I'm not very good at using this tool so I somehow found out one more way of doing it and in this method we are going to follow this this sequence here you're going to just let me disconnect this okay yeah what this command sequence is place the card on the reader so I'm going to do that first so I'm going to keep it another tag place the card I did it connect the reader I'm going to connect it and now run the software okay that's fine you run it then it says click on the connect let's click this on the connect then click on get data so if you go here click on get data and this is a different tag it starts with the uh, this is one more UID changeable tag which starts with the, with the UID of 8A, 0B, CC and C6 click on get data we're done okay now disable the auto pulling we know that go to reader command uh, pick operating setting sorry operating parameter set this disable and click set and we know this there are some errors here after that click on the get data again reader get data then click on the APDU commands I think all these sequence you know we are doing just to get this the top menu enable look at that so before we used you know uh, the method one use the direct command and now we got APDU command and after this uh, we just try to follow the mobile instructions okay I'm just going to copy paste as I did uh, before so let's try the first command paste and here you know you can see um, the response ending with the 90 so this response matches exactly what's in that block this is the second command delete and paste the second command send it works this is the third command delete paste it works the fourth command okay so zero a is a positive uh, response I think if you remember even in uh, when we did this using MFRC and Arduino so there also the code was checking for the response zero a so the next command paste that's fine and after that 43 okay this is also fine then this is the last but one this is fine and this is the last one probably I will uh, use this command that starts with the uh, BC paste send command so we have changed if you remember this was uh, our if I close this okay so if you just you got 
the UID starts from BC, BB, close, whereas this was uh, 8 a 0 b okay. So let us try to get this, get that again and see, I'm I can clear this screen here, click on a clear. If you say get data again, you still get the old data. So I would disconnect and connect again. And now if I give uh, get data, so look at that. Look, see, still the UID is still the same. Looks like, you know, this device is crashing. So I would rather disconnect from the power, connect it. and start again clear this window and now give get data yeah look at that the UID is uh, BCBB this is the UID we just wrote so we have seen uh, two methods and probably the next video I'm going to um, use this command uh, in my software and see if I can Bash them all together and do everything in just uh, one click. Thanks for watching.